Okay, uh, we're coming to the point where we need matrices. That's the point when we have several diff equations, se several differential equations instead of just one. And it's a matrix that does that coupling. So can I, this won't be a full course in linear algebra. That it would be available, you may know, on OpenCourseWare for 18.06. That's the linear algebra course. But mental facts, and why not just say them here in a few minutes? So I have a matrix. Well, there's a matrix. That's a three by three matrix. And first I want to ask, how does it multiply a vector? So there it is, multiplying a vector v1, v2, v3. And what's the result? G key idea. It takes the, the answer on the right-hand side is this number v1 times that column, plus this number, that number, times the second column, plus the third number, the third number, times the third column. A combination of the columns of A. That's what A times V is. That's what the notation of matrix multiplication produces. That's, that's really basic, to see it as a combination of columns. Now I want to build on that. That's one particular, if you give me V1, V2, and V3, I know how to multiply. I take the combination. Now I would like you to think about the result from all V1, V2, and V3. If I take all those numbers, then I get a whole lot of answers. They're all, they're all vectors. The result of A times V is another vector, AV. And I want to think about AV, those outputs, for all inputs V. So I take V1, V2, V3 to be numbers, and I get all combinations of those three columns. And usually, usually, I would get the whole three-dimensional space. Usually I can produce any vector, any output, B1, B2, B3, from A times V, but not for this matrix. Not for this matrix because this matrix uh, is, has a, is, you could say, deficient. That third column there, 2, 3, 3, is obviously the sum of columns 1 and column 2. So this V3 times that third column just produces something that I could already get from column one and column two. That V3 times column three, that column three I could X out, that's the same as column one plus column two for this matrix, not usually. And then, so I only really have a combination of two columns. It's a combination of three, but the third one was dependent on the others, and it's really a combination of two columns. So combinations of two columns, two vectors, in three-dimensional space produce a plane. Uh, I only get a plane. Now, I don't get all of three-dimensional space, only a plane. And I call that plane the column space. So the column space of the matrix. So if, I gave, if you gave me a different matrix, if you change this, this 3 to, a, to a 11, probably the column space now changes to, in this, for that matrix, I think the column space would be the whole three-dimensional space. I get everything. But when this third column is the sum of the four columns, it's not giving me anything new, and the column space is only a plane. And you could think of a matrix where the column space is only a line, just one independent column. OK, so, so that we thought about this is all combinations of the columns. In other words, it's all the results, all the outputs from A times V. It's all the outputs for, from A times V. Those are the combinations of the columns. So we can answer the most basic question of linear algebra. When does A, V equal B have a When is there a V 
so that I can solve this. When is there a V that solves this equation? So it's a question about B. What is it about B that must be true if this can be solved? Well, this says that equation is saying B is a combination of the columns of A. So this has a solution when B is, B must be, shall I say must be, in the column space. For that example, only B's that we could, we, where we can get a solution are B's that are combinations of the first two columns, because having the third column at our disposal gives us no help, doesn't give us anything new. It would be solvable if B equaled 1, 1, 1. That's a combination of the columns. Or if B equals 1, 2, 2, that's another simple combination of the columns. Or if B equals 2, 3, 3. But I'm only, I'm staying on a plane there, and most Bs are off that plane. So now when there's a solution. All right. Now, a second key idea of linear algebra. Can we do it in this short video? I want to know about the equation v equals zero. So now I'm setting the right-hand side to be zero. That's the zero vector, zero, zero, zero. Does it have a solution? Does it have a solution? Let's take this example. One, one, one. One, two, two. Two, three, three. Now I'm looking at the solutions when the right side is all zero. Does that have a solution? Is there a combination of those three columns that gives zero? Well, there is always one combination. I could take zero, zero, and zero. I could take nothing, zero of everything. Zero of this column, zero of that column, zero of the third column would give me the zero. That solution's always available. The big question is, is there another solution? And here, for this deficient, singular, non-invertible matrix, there is. There is another solution. Let me just write it down. Let me put it in there. What, do you see what the solution is? The column is the sum of those two. So if I want one of that column, I, I should take minus one of the other column. So that says minus this column, minus this column, plus this column gives me the zero column. That is a vector in the null space. That's a solution to A, V, N. So the null space is all solutions to a, V equals zero. It's all the V's. The null space is a bunch of V's. The column space was a bunch of B's. It's going to just emphasize that difference. I was looking at which B. I wasn't paying attention to what that solution was, just is there a, is there a solution, then that B is in the column space. I take B equals zero. I fix that, that all-important B, and, I add, and now I'm looking at the solutions. And here I find one. Can you find any more solutions? I think minus 10, minus 10, and 10 would be another solution. It's times as much. And zero, zero, zero is a solution. I think line of solutions. We had a plane for the column space, but we have a line for the null space. Isn't that neat? One's a plane, one's a line, dimension two plus dimension one, two for the plane, one for the line, adds to dimension three, the dimension of the whole space. Okay, that's a little going in. All right, now, now I ask, what are all solutions? The complete solution. to A, V equals, well, let me choose some right-hand side 
that where there is a solution. Let me choose a right side. They say if I add that column and that column, I'll get A, V, or maybe I'll take two of that column plus one of that column. Two of the first the column plus one of the second would be a C. Two plus that would be a four. Two plus that would be another four. Okay, that's my B. It's a combination of the columns. You saw me create it from the first two columns. So now I ask, what are all the solutions? It's in the column space. It's two times the first column plus the second column. But there may be other solutions. So all solutions, a complete solution, V complete. Yes. Here's the key idea. And the point is that it's the same that we know from differential equations. It's solution plus any null solution. Plus all, you could say all v null. Particular plus null solution. And it's such an important concept, we, want to, we just want to see it again. One particular solution with that thing would be particular. V particular could be two. So what was the, how did we produce that? Out of two of these plus one of these plus zero of that. So V particular could be two, one, zero. It works for that particular B. Two of the first column, one of the second. Now, then we could add in anything in the null solution. So we have infinitely many solutions here. We've got one solution plus added to that a whole line of solutions. This all the null space would be all vectors like that. Okay, that's the picture that we've seen for differential equations. And I just want to bring it out again for matrix equations using the language of linear algebra. That's what I'm introducing here. I have one particular solution plus anything in the null space. The space of vectors that is the heart of linear algebra. Thank you.